have it. I've seen ugly motherfuckers with nah. some bad bitches. Nah, I promise you, you have it. Oh, you probably seen somebody uglier. Nah, <laughs> nah. But I'm just saying, though, nah. you do got some ugly niggas that, I mean, ain't even nah, worth looking look. at in the face, man. I've seen them, though. I'm talking about shit looking With bad ass bitches, right? Bad, but they got bread. Nah, this is the thing. We got it fucked up. How you know that dude ugly? That's your definition. Oh, yeah, because it's seen. That's your perception. You can't tell that nigga he, he ugly. That nigga the flyest nigga in the world. He got the baddest bitch. Yeah. He got the baddest bitch. He drive the hottest whip. He got the flyest houses. He jumping here and there overseas. He, he fucking courtside with Jay-Z and Spike Lee and them. Ugly ass nigga though, right? To but he got all the fly shit. In him. Ugly nigga. You can't. But he ain't ugly. That's our, that's I our know. own demons. That's what we perceive. Yeah. That's what our perception. It's just like us wanting the female. We say she busted looking. Right. Because you can't say you can't say that she doesn't find him attractive. Yeah. In general, attractive. Yeah, she she finds him like, attractive. Oh my God, he talks nice. He, nah, but it might even it but might even be the that, money. It might even be the money. money yeah. The money might be the attraction, but she still nonetheless. Oh, I moved it. Sorry, she still nonetheless attracted to that nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can move it over a little bit more. She's still nonetheless attracted to that nigga. So physical attraction might not be there. Yeah. But she's still nonetheless attracted to him. For by whatever means, she's attracted. Yeah, Therefore, she him. he falls under the category as fly. Because he's attracting all the fly shit. Yeah. And he thus far becomes the flyest nigga. Yeah, but what if he wasn't the flyest nigga? What if he was the, the crummiest nigga? You think she'd be on his hips still? I don't, I don't seen it. I'm just saying. I mean, yeah, I've seen pretty girls under some busted niggas that ain't had shit. You know what I'm saying? But I never understood why they That's were under why. Like because that. that nigga, you can't tell that nigga he ain't shit. Yeah. Somewhere, listen. Exactly, because he did why. something that everybody else tried to do. Nah, not even that. A lot of people. Not even that. You know what it might have been? Like, look, it all goes to feeling. It all starts with the feeling. Thought gives rise to action. That's the law of attraction. So how do we control our thoughts? How we control our thoughts is learning to control our feelings. So if we could learn to stimulate good feelings all the time, it's going to generate good thoughts. Good thoughts are going to generate good actions. Good actions are going to reflect in more good actions and good things coming to you because that's what you're putting out there. You feel what I'm saying? So what happens is somewhere along the lines when he was a kid, when he didn't really understand, he didn't have a perception of ugly and handsome and pretty and this and that and beautiful. He didn't have the physical understanding or perception of what society's values were in, in those essence. He only understood what it was that he was brought up to understand. So his mother may have understood that perception, right? Understood the perception but wanted to break the chain. So she knew he was ugly as fuck according to the perception and standards based on society, right? She knew that he would be categorized as ugly as fuck. So when he was young as shit, she walked up to him and said, honey, you are beautiful. <laughs> and she meant it because a mother's love is genuine. She meant it with all her heart. She looked for the most beautiful thing in him. She found it because that's his mother and she's going to find it. Yeah. And that's all that she saw reflect off of him was the aura. Yeah. All she saw was the aura and she saw a beautiful aura because it was an innocent child. So she embedded into that innocent child who doesn't know anything yet and hasn't developed a perception. She embeds into this child, you are beautiful. Yeah. And now the child grows up genuinely believing. Yeah, he's beautiful. Yeah, he's beautiful. He's God's gift to the fucking world. Oh, yeah. And what ends up happening? He attracts beautiful things. Because his mind state is beautiful. Yeah. So it really don't matter what you look like. It's the inside that counts, basically. That's why when they say the beauty's on the inside, they don't mean how a person acts or it does nice things. And no, this I really that. That, that, that's an attribute to the overall aspect of it. Those that's things are attributes. That's why I don't judge. Once, if we hear something that's interesting, we listen. Yeah. We observe. Yeah, but that's the problem. These motherfuckers listen too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> they listen to, to everything else around them instead of listening to... To the main objective. To them. Yeah. 
Your body tells you what it needs, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Your body tells you what it needs. Like you go without water for a while, your body gonna start telling you, yo, water, water, water. You're gonna naturally just want to go and get some, some fucking water. water. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If your body's not getting enough salt or enough sugar, you're, you're naturally just going to want to go out. And your body that. naturally going to want it, right? And yeah. you're going to go get it and, and shit you're like gonna that. you're going to look at something that got sugar in it and you're going to eat it. You know what I'm saying? But that's just like everything else. Once your body knows you need it, it's going to try to get it. And that's the same way all of this other shit works too, man. The lo like, oh, yeah. all right, cool. Our, our, our physical understands what the physical needs, right? Mm -hmm. Great, all right, cool, we need water, we need sleep, we need this, we need that. These motherfuckers is not getting spiritually inclined with themselves, right? So this is what's going on. All right, hold that, I'm gonna work. Work. So, these niggas is not getting spiritually inclined, so what's going on is, your body naturally knows what it needs in order to survive and sustain. So you could neglect giving it whatever it, whatever it needs, for as much time as you possibly can, but eventually your body will force you to get what it needs to, to survive. You know what I mean? So in the same aspect, once you start becoming more spiritually inclined and you start finding peace with the inner self and you start understanding who, who that is, then naturally, once that starts, you know, working and the mechanics and that start taking effect and you start living your spiritual experience, you feel what I'm saying? Because we're not, we're not human beings who experience spirituality no. no we are spiritual beings who are having a human experience exactly. you feel what i'm saying yeah. this is a human experience yeah. exactly. this is not who we are we are experiencing this yeah we this is just a vessel yeah we are some whole we just a shell we some whole other shit that these niggas won't even get or understand yeah so with that being said once you start tapping in to that into who you really are, you're going to realize that it's going to attract what it needs to survive. Yeah. The yeah. spirit needs different things from the physical exactly. in order to be at peace. Because in order to be in alignment, you hear every single person all over the world, any religion, any way of life, anything that has to do with anything spiritual, they tell you you need to reach peace first. Right? It's all about finding inner peace, all about being in alignment, yada, 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 blazy, blazy, blah. So, if we understand that, right, and we learn that it's all, it all starts from within, and we let the within operate, because right now we're letting the human operate, yeah. right? We're letting the human operate. Yeah, Every, everything we do is in human nature. It's not in any spiritual nature. We're not doing anything in any spiritual form. And we are spiritual beings having a human experience. So once we begin to let the spirit work and stop letting the human work, mm -hmm. we're going to attract what the spirit needs. Yeah. So if the spirit needs peace, right, and you truly understand that the spirit needs peace, whatever <coughs> appeases your spirit, Whatever your spirit constitutes as peace, whatever your vision of peace is, whatever puts you at peace, is what your spirit is going to attract. The same way your body is going to attract water when it needs to drink. Yeah. The universe is going to give you what it is that you ask of it. Period. It's coming. You know what I mean? That's the law of attraction. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thought gives rise to action. That's the law of attraction. Same way there's the law of gravity, you know what I mean? I take this fucking box of cigarettes, boom, I drop it. It's got to hit the floor. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, now check it. Look, I could, I could, on, on the way down, I could catch it, but it still had to fall. Something might have stopped. It prevented it from hitting the floor, yeah. but a law applied. You feel what I'm saying? The law of gravity still applied. It's, it's got, it fell somewhere. It fell in my hand. So depending on where this shit falls, you feel what I'm saying? But the same way there's the law of gravity, there's the law of attraction. You you say what puts you at peace is fucking music and, music weed. and weed. And you find yourself in the studio all Smoke. the time. With music and weed. With music and weed. So yes. naturally, what your soul desires... Is my music and my weed. But once we learn to shift what it is we truly desire yeah. and start to really question, is this what I really want? Or is this what I've been conditioned to want? Or is this what I've been programmed to want? 
or do I not know what all the options are, whatever the case is. Once you realize that you could take this method and apply it to anything, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I want, um, the same way you say what puts you at peace is the fucking music and weed, you say what puts you at peace is a fucking a five million dollar mansion. Next thing you know, I got a five million dollar mansion. You don't even got to know how you're going to get it. You just got to know that that's what it is that puts you at peace. Yeah. That's what it is you want. That's what the primary focus is. Yeah. That's what your soul desires. Yeah. When you wake up in the morning, that's what drives you. And that music is one that's going to get me there. When, it, when you go to sleep at night, that's what calms the storm. The fact that you have your mindset on that. You know what I mean? And you're taking steps toward that. Hell yeah. You're only successful if you have a plan and you're moving forward toward the plan. You don't need to know how you're going to get from point A to point B. You just got to know where point B's at and that's the direction you're heading. Yeah. How you're going to get there, you're going to get there. Yeah. 